Right, so we're currently here on the 66 and welcome back to another video. Today we're moving these two Scanias to Kaleo. We also have a load of other stuff to do before Friday. It's currently Wednesday, 3 p.m. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now this is part two of obviously two parts. Um, I'll link part one up, up here somewhere is up there. You can go check that out for yourself. But first up, I need to fix this here mistake. Now they haven't touched, which is good. It looked like they were touched when I first came around, but there is not much of a room. So what we're gonna do here is undo these straps and move this unit forward. So as you can see, there's still a hell of a lot of room there. So we'll move that forward, give us a wee bit more room on the back there, and hopefully they shouldn't touch. Cause I'm not a fan of these, obviously colliding. Now bear in mind, they haven't collided yet. Don't anyone, anyone say they have. You can see there's no damage there whatsoever. It's just a case of, if I don't fix it now, then possibly the next couple of miles it'll be damaged. So we'll do that now, and then we'll go on to Kaleo and drop these off. But that was a, that was a close, close escape. No, a close, you know what I mean? If you are new to the channel, feel free to consider subscribing. We upload every Tuesday, no we don't, every Wednesday. When do we upload? I've forgotten. Every Wednesday, 7.30 UK time, and every Saturday, 7.30 UK time. Right, let's fix this truck. That is a, a well spec bit of kit here. Leather seats, now that bed looks a hell of a lot bigger than mine. But I wonder if the Scanias have bigger beds, but it is tidy nonetheless. All right, so I'm not too sure how that has worked, but obviously I've moved that a bit. Reposition the bar, brought us down low, as you can see it's moved. A good six inches, which is, is weird parking brakes on and all that jazz. Maybe there's something I'm doing wrong, remember I've never driven a Scania unit before. However, this time we've uh, driven forward and put this in here block and hopefully that should make it move less. I'm new to all this, boys, so if I'm doing something wrong, tell me in the comments. That is a much better gap. I know that's not much, but that is a lot better than what it was, considering it was half that a minute ago. So let's go ahead, tighten our straps back up on the one we moved. We've done this one already. And then let's get to Carlisle and hopefully it doesn't move again. But like I said, if there's anything I'm doing wrong, please don't, don't hide it. Just can tell me, because I'll not learn if I don't know. Look at that for a goddamn view. I'm no expert, but something would tell me I might be in the right place here for uh, delivering these here vehicles. There's one delivered, on to the next. Oh yes, there we go. F***ing best sight in the world. Welcome to Scotland. Oh yes, my favourite road in the world, the A71. I've said this in many videos before, but when I hit that, I know I'm going home. All right, so that's us back at the yard. We're just gonna quickly wash the car, cause it is dusty, and head home. Oh, car's all washed. See you tomorrow. All right, so it is currently 5.55 a.m. on Thursday, and we're here at the MJ Hughes yard getting ready to load up our next load for going back down to Maltby. So uh, let's get into it. <laughs> I left my Anderson Leeds plugged in for scanning yesterday. Oh Jesus. There we go, that's us all loaded. We'll have a wee look in depth in a minute. But let's go on the road, because it's almost eight o'clock. I don't want to have f***ing rush hour. Honestly, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, that this lorry is an absolute f***ing weapon, and there comes f***ing Connor Brown. <laughs> what a f***ing, what a good timing. Oh no, it's not gonna reach. Right, while we're waiting for the diesel to fill up, go ahead and check all our chains and our straps. That's not chalking, that's just me putting the spare wood that I had in the lorry out the way. Chains all nice and tight, straps all nice and tight. Couple wee things there, like 18 ton high ab thing. Couple more platforms, not a bad weight load. Anyways, now it's just the waiting game. All right, so we've just pulled in at Feather Bra Feather Ferry Bridge Services from EKFC, and one of the boys there at Kalina Lorry there. Me and him had a bit of an argument on the 66, so we'll see if he comes over and says anything. But he was overtaking a lorry that was doing like, well, let's say for example 45, and he was doing like 45.5, and it honestly took him about half an hour to overtake him. I was just f***ing raging it. And then obviously uphills, 
he would be faster and then downhills the truck would uh, the truck and inside would pull away from him load of fuck about but anyways just gotta relax a bit oh this boy better move his fucking van i'm not sitting here waiting for him to offload that entire fucking loon you gonna be long mate or the whole thing <laughs> he's like aye the whole thing <laughs> no with your fucking van i'm waiting here for you to manually offload shit because you can't park properly Loaded. Uh, we're just coming back around this corner here, probably where well, this van is still sitting uh, where it was before. Hopefully he's not moved back. No, he's gone. That was a quick offload for him. It only took me about half an hour to get all those machines off. Bags are room. Bags are room. Anyways, let's go on to Emingham Docks. All right, so we've made it to the docks. We're just waiting in the queue. Um, we're not allowed to basically get our vehicles until we're in either of those spaces. It's a weird role they have. We're just waiting for there, then we'll go in and get our paperwork, get our little tags, go pick up the trucks and head for Kalil. Right, so she's all set up over there. Now we've got to go and find the Scanias that we're looking for. So we're looking for 88 and 82. Uh, right. Where's it? It's a tag as well, which is lovely. All right, so we're going to check sheet before I take a Scania, what to look for. Um, so the stuff at the side lockers that need to be accounted for and obviously simple things like damages and all that kind of stuff because otherwise if I don't then it's me that gets the blame at the delivery if I don't get it signed here then I'm taking it as is so any damages found on it are then my fault and I don't want that Alright, I'm happy with how it is so let's get it loaded I do, I do like the scannies, don't lie for an R series you know there's plenty of room bed's a bit small in the old back there but it does look like quite a little spring bit of kit you know what I mean? You've got nice wee drawers here, no drawers there, cup holders, you know, your fenders. I do like the fact that you've got a fridge here. I mean, that's on my Volvo, it's away over there. Oh, it clicks out twice. That's quite nice. A wee fridge in there as well, or is that just a, it's a biscuit box? A wee cubby holder there. Nice sized bins, to be fair. That's a nice enough truck, eh? Look for my blind spot, and we're off. Oh god, a bit jumpy there, Sean. Again, uh, R series, so I put the R series right up the neck, and then that way it doesn't affect us on the height too much. Just Christ, I forget how fast they are sometimes. And then we'll just go ahead and reverse that. Try and get a better angle of the loading procedure. <laughs>
Holy sh! That's closer than I want to be. But I'll show you what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to reverse it as far back. Bear in mind we don't get a bank from here. So I can chop the wheels, drive it forward, that holds it. And hopefully it doesn't slip like it did yesterday. But I was struggling to get up those ramps today. It has been raining, so it would make sense. All right, so just to show my thought process, put the tire brakes off, right, and it's not moving forward. So that should work. Right, rain is starting again, which means slippy ramp. So let's find this S line and get it loaded. All right, both loaded on. And it looks like we're 15 foot eight, which is perfect. So I'll walk you through what I've done and hopefully you can roughly understand. So last time they give you points that you messed up on and obviously damages, but some you get away with, some you don't. So last time I got done for this bit was rubbing and kind of rubbed away the plastic so it was just smooth. So I fixed that there with microfiber. Always to be better up in here. Fixed that with microfiber and we've also ordered the kind of choke thing so we don't need to do these X's anymore. Because I'm killing my straps. Done the block again. So this one doesn't move forward. I don't think this one should. Strapped up on the ramp. And then we'll put this big fence post in here, of course secured it so that it physically can't roll. You obviously see me in the cab with the neutral off. I changed it from those two beams to the one big beam and you've seen me roll it in neutral and it will not go forward, which is what we want. Obviously strap that so it can't move forward, strap that and jobs are good. Don't have enough uh, wood to do what I did last time, just stop this tag to, uh, to stop the tank going down. But I put the suspension at ride height and hopefully we should have enough time to get there before the suspension leaks out, which there shouldn't be much of a suspension leak. It is a brand new motor, remember. But we'll keep an eye on that in our mirror as well. And aye, that's us done. An hour to load, which is a wee bit slow, but I want to take my time. They are splitting you at the end of the day, so let's not damage them. And let's not have make the same mistake we made last time. I just realised those mats are loose, so quickly throw a ratchet strap over them and we're off. Right, moment of truth, we've parked up here. Side of the A66, ran out of time. I've run out of 15 hours. Yeah, we've plenty of driving time, but just working time. We've ran out, but let's have a wee look and see what we've done so far. Nothing's moved, everything's looking nice. The front there, nothing's touched. Going round again, everything's looking nae bad. Nae bad, nae bad, nae bad, nae bad. And here's the, the main thing. Has our plan worked? Now bear in mind, I've parked glass as well, because if you park like that, it's meant to make it like, park like that and see how the cab doesn't rock as much when, it, when a car passes. It's just a tip I learnt off of somebody. Anyways, let's see if our plan here's worked. So remember, we chalked this bit with wood. We then strapped it so it couldn't move. So this wheel is chalked with this big massive fence post. Let's see if it worked. Scroll back here and remember what happened in the last episode, or in fact the start of this one, the cabs had moved forward. Boys, look at that. Not a fucking inch. Not an inch. That is beautiful. And there's still obviously loads of room at the front. So I think from now on, whenever we're moving them, we chalk this wheel as well. I'm chalking them with fucking wood. That was scary when that happened. But now, it hasn't happened. I think it just makes us look a wee bit more professional. Because that could have went really wrong. I love it when a plan works. I'm not too keen on this yet. Dial not look like it might be DB tonight. God damn it, intake's just fucked off. So I'm gonna move forward in case somebody wants to get in behind me. Yeah. So, just watch a wee YouTube video there. We've got the Corona on the go. Something so refreshing about a, a stone cold Corona after a, a decent day's work. But I tell you what I'm looking more forward to. Look at this, boys. Look at what's inside my little box tonight. <laughs> Butter chicken. Before I go, look how gorgeous that view is. Just sitting here, beer, TV, butter chicken, view. It's job as its perks. Alright, it is seven o'clock the next morning. We're still here on the motorway. Without further ado, let's check our load, make sure we've still got it, and head on to Kalil. Alright, it all still looks there. Nothing's been stolen or nicked. I think we're pretty much pretty much good to go here. Beautiful. Right, first one's all on strapped here at scanning. 
I can sit you down here and hopefully get a good camera angle of just how low it is. There we go, all delivered. There's the ones we did yesterday as well. Beautiful. Right, let's head on to the next job. We've got to get these checked first and then we'll head on. All right, so that's them tipped. Let's see how I did. Whoa, ticks. Knee damages on the first one, which is what we like to see. Now let's have a look at the second one. All ticks again. Knee damages. <laughs> oh, there's another two a split new scan is delivered for all I've done this week. Anyways, we're just going to quickly phone the head honcho, ask him if I'm going to Preston or what the plan is, and then fire on. Right, I'm just phoned about my back load there. I've always said last day, other one we're ready for Monday, so I'm just waiting 10 minutes now just to see if I'm driving up the road or driving down the road. And if I'm being honest, I just want to cut the road there. Oh. Isn't ready till Monday, and I'm not gonna enough time to find a back load, but I'll phone a big man. See if he can find me. All right, so I've just pulled in to Abington Services here, and as you can see right in front of me there is the one and only trucker Sean. Now, if he goes out onto that M6 or whatever the f you call that road now, it changes, doesn't it? I'm taking it. He's a lucky bastard, man. The lucky, lucky bastard. Don't get me wrong, that is a fucking sexy lorry, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, well, I guess that's not happening. We'll just go take over some fleet spec now. Right, I feel like I'm doing a wee bit of a repo here. So I've phoned the boy. Can I get a hold of him? The gate's open, as in I pushed that metal gate open there. And then that's about as far as I went when I get my camera. I did try and drive in here, but by the time my lorry was there, the trailer was hitting that wall, so I'm not doing that. I pushed this gate open, and I've been told that it's a five-ton Manitou for Lafferies, which is there. I think we're just going to take it. I'm just going to make sure it starts. Uh, there's some lime green panels here which match the colour of this here. So I'm just double checking that there's no panels missing off it because they could just be something else that just happens to be the same colour. No, I think they're for in there. That's a bastard. This doesn't look like it's going to run. There's no f***ing battery. Me, Jesus Christ. I'm not waiting till three o'clock, it's fucking twelve o'clock now. I'm wanting fucking him. Hello? How's it going, mate? Uh, I've got the fort I've got the fort left here, but there's uh, there's no batteries in it. If, if you took a battery out of it, I'm uh, thinking of. You tell me he was putting a new one in it, he's probably too good to go right away. Do you get any jumpers? I don't know. Right, I'll be I'll be um, I'll get somebody there. Right, no worries, that's fine. I'll get some there for you, alright? Do you roughly know what kind of time, no? Eh, uh, the next half hour. That's fine, no worries, just so I can get this trailer back to the boy. Right, no bother. Perfect. No bother. Cheers. Ta-da. It's just so much waiting about on this job. Anyways, I suppose we'll go and do some paperwork. Or... I've been here for over an hour now. It's a f***ing Friday, man, I just want him. Somebody's just arrived. I'm gonna drop the boots. Let's get home. Right, it's the boy that was there isn't the boy that was originally getting sent to help me, it's the guy that actually owns the machine and not the boys that are arranging transport. So I have to turn this here motor, go back down, pick it up, he's putting a new battery in it and hopefully we can just can go. It's half one now, still got to drop this off, drop the trailer off, get home, wash the lorry and then go actually to my home. I do love this job but Fridays are for getting home, no f about. I can hear the whirring of machines. I've got my lorry here set up. I can hear what it sounds like, an engine of something. That's gotta be it, please. Please, I'm just wanting him. Got a show this weekend, I'm just wanting him. Let's go. This is all set up here. Did we turn about? Cars can get by. High ab or forklift can get on. Hopefully. Oh no. It's fucking gone. There we go, first bit loaded on. 
these two panels and it's uh, it's some view it's some heat but it's also 22 so i mean my watch here is telling me it's fucking home time and we're off let's get this bastard loaded let's get fucking home man right i've used chains i had them sitting in the neck anyways but there we go two pulling forward down to there now we've got one on the back to there which is taking up a lot of room you can use straps for these, but I prefer changing it's pulling back nicely and all that jazz. And there's nothing else to go on the neck anyway, so it just looks better coming down the road as well. Even though it's going like half an hour. Right, that is the forklift and bobber thing offloaded. Again, not much footage, I do apologise, just wanted to get it off. We've got this trailer to go drop off back at s and Combs, whatever you want to call it. We'll just give them the timber that we, we acquired from another job. I was kind of hoping to take it home because it would have been very handy for my trailer when it comes But no, no, we'll just give it to him because he did let us borrow his trailer in eh? Can't really be too picky Right, you remember a couple of days ago we shot this exact same clip In fact, you won't, it was the last episode Shot this exact same clip where I was like, oh, that's us picked up the trailer That's us, trailer tipped, thank you again But I uh, left him all the timber and that, so we're going to head home We've got 50 to 41 miles of fuel. Should get us home. It'll get us to our local petrol station or diesel station or whatever you call it. And then we're done for the day, boys. The best and most annoying time to go for diesel. Friday afternoon when everybody's wanting home. The weekend as well, I'm going to Bonessa, so. I decided if I'm doing a separate video on that, but just added it to the end of this one. One of the best parts about our yard. Keep your rubbish in a lorry and then. <laughs> Straight in, hate folk the latter. Just keep it, keep it in me bag, slash, look. Boss, it takes five seconds. That one was a wee bit more embarrassing. It's good though, because you just get to like fucking roll on shit at the window. Woo! Beautiful pile else have I got for the wind. Got a pasta bowl here that I didn't eat. It goes out of date. Oh, the 31st of May. <laughs> Three pound meal deal, gone. to come out the weekend to do a wee bit better. For pre-wash it's not bad, obviously it still leaves kind of deeper dirtier marks like that. You see the difference, but it is a hell of a lot cleaner. We've got a show this weekend, so I'm going to make the fibre all anyway, so I'll just do it up there, because I can't really be f doing it tonight if I'm being honest. There we have it. Friday night, all parked up. Some more removal lorry still to come in. But anyways, thank you all for watching another week. And once again you've enjoyed it. I know I have. It's been cracking and I cannot wait to get this new trailer. I'm just thinking a new trailer on the back of that is gonna look goddamn awesome. Anyways, see you in the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. I can't wait to get home. <laughs>